Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, March 14th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Silicon Valley Bank, of course, was in the news and with that, scammers are looking into trying to capitalize on this incident as well. We noticed over the weekend a significant increase in domain name registrations related to Silicon Valley Bank. Most of them, the ones that I at least found, just contain the three letters SVB. Login svb.com, svblogin.com are two domains I am particularly watching. Many of the domains are more or less just you know, money making uh, domains. There's even an svb merch uh, domain that someone registered. What I'm most afraid of happening right now is sort of a variation of the business email compromise. In a classic business email compromise, an attacker is listening in on emails being sent. And then, for example, if an invoice is being sent, the attacker is injecting an additional email with updated account information that, of course, points to the attacker's account. I have seen a couple of people reporting that they received from vendors uh, email basically uh, with uh, updated account information because they moved their accounts away from Silicon Valley Bank and now are using a different bank for their banking. Those emails appear to be legitimate, but of course it's not a stretch to assume that the Bad guys are catching on uh, to a lot of these emails being sent these days and are just injecting a couple of fraudulent ones. So talk to your accounting staff, uh, reinforce some of the lessons that you already should have communicated to them about uh, updating account information to validate this just uh, with a larger normal number of these messages with the external context that everybody is aware of, of Silicon Valley Bank having problems. It may be more likely that even someone who is uh, reasonably skilled in recognizing these scams is, is still going to fall for it. The big problem here is that there are a lot of unknowns, uh, even to customers of the bank. Uh, so, for example, who to expect communication from or what that communication should look like or what kind of information you should provide. And uh, that, of course, is a good recipe for a scammer to take advantage of because our number one defense usually is that an email that comes from your bank, well, looks odd, looks not normal, but that now becomes much more difficult to recognize. If you see anything, uh, well, uh, please let me know. Uh, send us a copy of other emails or websites or uh, malware uh, you may be receiving. And CISA, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, did add a couple of interesting bugs to its already exploited list. The first one of interest that was added today is, well, a vulnerability in Plex, which is uh, three years old. But the reason it was added now was that this was apparently the vulnerability being used to compromise the developer's workstation that then led to the last pass uh, data exfiltration and compromise. So uh, this is probably something that you don't necessarily see in a lot of enterprise business systems, but uh, well, uh, home systems sometimes matter too. Like in this case, also vulnerabilities being added are for a VMware, a VMware Cloud Foundation vulnerability. That's also an older vulnerability from 2021, according uh, to the uh, CVE number. And again, these vulnerabilities are now being exploited. So hope you already got them patched, but uh, this is actually a good list to keep an eye on ever so often. Also already exploited is a vulnerability that 40 OS patched last week. I think I may have mentioned it. It's a path traversal vulnerability, but the nature of the path traversal is that it allows an attacker to read and write arbitrary files, which then leads to remote code execution. This has been already exploited before the patch was released against selected targets, in particular government organizations. So something where you may want to double check your 40 OS devices, even if you have them already patched. 
Well, and that's it for today again. Hope you like this podcast. Please subscribe. You can also listen to the podcast via Alexa, the Flash Briefing. We have it on YouTube, even though audio only, and lots of other outlets. So thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.